So we'll once again see some of the examples related to the NFA in this lecture. Let's say I'm I have to draw the NFA for a set of strings that ends with one one. Okay, so here we are assuming that the input alphabet set is zero and one. Now uh, the strings that will be the part of this language that will be one one only, or it may be zero one one. Or it may be one 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 because this is also ending with one. It may be zero zero one one, or it may be zero triple one, because all these strings are ending with one one. So this will be the infinite language. So the smallest uh, string is only one one. So let's draw the automata for that first. So with symbol one, you are moving to state number B. With symbol one, you are moving to state number C, and C is the final state. So this string is ending with this. This string is con, uh, ending with one one, but at the beginning, if you get a zero or the one, you should remain at the start state itself. So the last you are concerned about the last two symbols. So last two symbols should be one one. So so this will work for this uh, the language L. So this is the NFA. This is a very simple NFA for the strings that ends with. One one, okay. Now let's say uh, I have to draw the NFA for the input alphabet set. Let's say A B star and second last symbol is A. So you are only concerned about the second last symbol in the string. So what will be the set of these strings? Uh, the smallest one will be AB. The second last symbol is AB. And then it can be AAB. The second last symbol is A. It can be double A also. The second last symbol is A. It can be AAB, double AB. Here also, the second last symbol is A. And so on and so forth. This will be the infinite language. So for this also, it's very simple. We are concerned about the second last symbol. Let's take the smallest string, which is AB or AA. So the second last symbol should be this one. And this is the last symbol. So last symbol can be A or B. And C should be my final string. So this is for the smallest uh, string. So the smallest string is either AB or AA. So the last symbol can be B or A. So the last symbol can be B or A. What I am concerned about is the second last symbol, and second last symbol should be A only. Now, if second last symbol is A, in the beginning I can get A or B, so I should not be concerned about that. I should only be concerned about the second last symbol, which is small. So this is the automata NFA for the straight for the language in which the second last symbol is A for the language for. Which the second last symbol is A. Similarly, I can draw the automata for set of strings having an input alphabet A B, where the second symbol from LHS is A. Okay, second symbol from left hand side is A. So, what will be the part of the language like this? So this A, A, second symbol is A, and then it can be B, A, second symbol is A. It can be B, A, B, sorry, B, A, B, B, or it can be double A, double B. So I'm only concerned about the second symbol from left hand side. So if I'm concerned about the second symbol from left hand side, it means first symbol can be anything. It can be A or B. But the second symbol should be A only. And after getting A, you may get A or B. You should not be concerned about that. So this is the simple NFA for the language L3, wherein we are saying that the second symbol from left hand side is A. So you should be concerned about the second symbol only. After getting the second symbol as A, you may have A or B in the string. So C should be my final state. So this is the automaton. Now let's take another example for the NFA. Let's say 
Uh, L4 is a language where W, where the input alphabet is 0 and 1, W starts with 0 and ends with 1. So what could be the automata for this? That W, which, which starts with 0 and ends with 1. So any string that starts with 0 and ends with 1, the smallest automata is 0, 1. Now after this, this may also be the case. Or this may also be the case, the start symbol is 0 and end symbol is 1. And then it can be 0, 1, 1, 1. So start symbol is 0 and end symbol is 1. So it is sure that the end symbol has to be 1. Okay. So this will be also be the infinite language. So let's draw it. It will be a bit difficult. Let's think about this. The smallest automata that should be accepted is 0 and 1. Okay. 0 and 1. And this C state should be my final state. Now let's say this language has started with the 0 and ended with 1. Okay. Now, what if I get a 0 and 1 in between? So if I get 0 and 1 in between, so this should be like this. Okay. If I'm getting 0 or 1 in between, so I have started with 0, I have ended with 1. Now in between, I can get 0 or 1 symbol. So this should be the automata for the language L4. I hope you are understanding these things. This is very simple to draw these automata. Now let's say this is the L5 in which I'm saying that the input alphabet set is zero and one only and W start with zero and ends with zero also. Let's see if we can make this. So what should be the smallest string? Smallest string will be zero. And zero, zero is also acceptable. Zero, one, zero is also acceptable. Zero, one, one, zero is also acceptable. Zero, one, zero, zero is also acceptable. And so on, so forth. This will also be the infinite language. So the smallest string that should be accepted is zero. Why I'm saying that the zero is the part of this language? Because if I take only symbol zero, this starts with zero and it ends with zero also. That's why the zero should be accepted. Right? Okay. Now, what if I get a one after B? So I should move to one of the state, which will be non-final state. And after this, if I get zero, I should come here. So any string that uh, uh, starts with zero and uh, ends with zero, I think this should be covered in this. If, if not, well, let's verify. So the zero is acceptable here. Yes, there is one mistake, very small mistake that should be covered here. We should have the loop of the zero here. Fine. So what, what if I get to zero, zero? So I start with A, with zero, I move to B. With another zero, I remain at B, which is the final state. What if I get zero, one, zero? So from A with zero symbol, I move to B state. And then with the symbol one, I go to C state. And then with symbol zero, I come back to B state. So B is a final state. You can take another example also. Let's say zero, one, zero, zero. This should also be accepted. So you start your transition with state number one. So state number A, with zero, you move to B. With one, you move to C. With zero, you move to B. And with another zero, you will remain at B, which is the final state. So this way we can see that this automata is accepting all the strings that start with zero and ends with zero also. So I hope this makes sense. And we are now confident that we can make any of the non-deterministic finite automata. In the next lecture, we will learn how to convert the given non-deterministic finite automata to the finite automata, DFO. Thanks for watching.